your face, girl. Joel and Dylan, good to see you guys. Jimmy, yeah, man. Great to Give see me you. the shake, man. Yes, yes. You, yes. I love it. <laughs> Any opportunity, I get. It. I'm just thankful to be able to shake your hand in person. And yeah, yeah, over yeah. Zoom. Not, not Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for sitting down and talking with us, guys. It, you know, it's always exciting to hear new music coming from United. And I know you guys have been working on it for a long time, Joel. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, just you know, everything over the last two years, and everything getting shut down. You guys, you guys were working part in Sydney, part here in, in the states, and. Um, but we're excited now, starting to hear some songs and a few singles released. But talk about this song, Chariot, man. I love when writers go back and they grab something like mm. this that's like, I mean, this one is, is a spiritual. I mean, it's, it's, it's an idea that was, you know, early, early uh, American days. But um, talk about this. I love what you did with it and just bringing the terminology back to the church, yeah. you know, which I love just reconnecting with that history. Mm. Um, and the history of this song of being such a cry you know mm. i think was really cool of just like a longing joel we were just yeah. talking about songs of heaven and you know and this it reminds me of one of those of just looking forward to that yeah. day so good but man tell us about it yeah well i mean obviously I, like i'm aware um of you know the the when, when you when you even nod to something that is um you know any hymn or any song that's uh, you know is entrenched in so much wealth and, and you know, history and, and, and meaning for people. I understand, you know, it's, sometimes it's, it's, um, it can be icy ground, you know, like uh, you, you don't want to make anything that is kind of doesn't need changing worse. And I don't think that's the desire here because, it, you know, I think for us, we were um, writing, um, just actually just kind of worshipping and writing at the same time, just mm -hmm. singing. And, um, and Dylan was playing the acoustic guitar and Ben started singing um, those words, you know, swing low, sweet chariot, um, carry me home. Um, wow. Just kind of naturally in the midst of it. And, and we just, we both just started singing over the top of yeah. it. And, and the song just kind of happened. Um, and next thing you know, because it's just, it's just two chords, you know, like almost the whole song. And, and um, it just felt so sweet. And then we just started talking about, about that song. Um, because I remember as a kid singing that song in church, I remember hearing it at funerals. I remember, uh, you know, hearing it in football stadiums, you know, um, these words swing like sweet chariot and I, I, to be honest especially as a young person it's like I don't even really know what that means you know but there's something so spiritual about it you know like what is that and and uh so I think you know we started kind of talking about that in the midst of um of just kind of writing it and um the more I started to, to think about it and singing some of these verses and thinking about heaven and obviously you know there's this this there's a, a nod to the story of uh Elijah and and you know the fact that God uh you know took him up in, yeah. in a whirlwind or a chariot of fire or whatever you like. And, and the metaphor of a chariot and what that means and, and all the rest of it, um, it, it just became like this kind of journey in, mm. in kind of this deep dive into um, understanding like how God has always been um, redemptive and always yeah. been gracious. And I guess even like in many ways, you know, like I think chariot, it's a, it's a metaphor for death, you know. Um, yeah. And... And I think that's really interesting. You know, it's like the kind of song that you would you would sing. Like, you know, I've heard stories of it being sung in battlefields. Obviously, the song originated, you know, like, you know, in a time of incredible oppression. The song has been, um, it was a song that was banned in, in, in Nazi Germany by the Nazis, wow. you know, because they didn't want it being sung. Um, and you know, it, there's such rich beauty in the metaphor and what that means. And there's this idea that death is not the end. Mm. Um, and that this is only that no matter what the journey looks like for anybody, whether you're in a season of health or a season of sickness, you, if you're, you know, um, you're in a season of we're in this journey of like now and not yet, you know, mm -hmm. and and to have something that kind of reminds us of not just the, the hope that we have, although that that is this great hope we have heaven, that death isn't the end, but that also in the midst of it, 
you know, God has taken care of the death thing for mm-hmm. us and that's why. Yeah. And so I think there was something about, you know, kind of j- trying to describe what is that chariot? Mm-hmm. Um, and to me, it's like, yes, it's like there's this moment where what God did for Elijah, which is kind of like a one-off. And, you know, I think it would be amazing if that's just how God did it for all of us, but it's not like that anymore <laughs> yes. because he sent Jesus, you know? Right. And what he did on the cross turned this thing that, you know, it was a symbol of oppression and, and death and turned it into a symbol of hope again, you know? And now because of that cross, because of Jesus, you know, um, we have this chariot called grace mm, yeah. that is going to carry us from that moment and through all of our days until yeah. we, um, you know, we, we're home. And yeah. I just love the thought of home, you know, yeah. and knowing that, yeah, like this is just a season. This is just a moment that we're in and we're here on mission and we're here with a calling and there's, there's stuff that God's called us to do and there's good days and there's bad days and there's terrible things that happen in the world and we can't make sense of it all, but God is faithful in the midst of it. And I think that's the power of a song. And that's why I love, you know, the original Swing Low Sweet Chariot, you know, that song has, I can't imagine the stories and maybe only heaven will tell how like that song brought people hope in different moments, yeah, right. you know? Um, and, I, and I love the idea of, of reclaiming, like you said, those words, um, not just as something that we could sing, you know, as, as the church, a body of people, everybody in different places and seasons, but there's something about um, sharing in, you know, community um, that when we, when we sing these songs and who knows what's going on in other people's lives and, right. and, and, and sharing in that, there's something that to me represents the kingdom in such a special way and that's the power of a song. That's why we need to get back together in our churches and be mm-hmm. singing new confessions of faith yeah. and hope and mm-hmm. it's what we pray that this song in any kind of way, shape or form would serve and help people. Yeah, man, that's awesome. good. And I, I love that connection grace as the chariot that we're carrying mm-hmm. that line just kills me because uh, the song is set up so beautifully and then you make that connection and and then it it turns into a uh, just a thankfulness mm-hmm. after that because it's like yes god like you're carrying mm-hmm. us home and Dylan, i feel like you know, you know there's some, seasons in the church like god stirs writers on mm-hmm. certain themes at different times mm-hmm. and you know even over the last few months maybe it's because we, what the world's been through in the last few years but there's just more songs about heaven mm-hmm. you know, looking ahead you know, and what a powerful thing to share and sing as a congregation to say is like, you know, I, we don't have the answers for everything. Every problem that's in this room today, there's a lot of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. But we know that at the end of it, there's yeah, hope. There's a, hope. And there's a home that's yeah. better than what we're in currently. Yeah. Man, what a powerful thing. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I mean, everyone, we all, you know, like, as you said, we've all kind of gone through this, this crazy unknown over the last, you know, 24 months. And and, you know, I find myself, you know, I, I can go a few days of just like, you know, getting a little bit negative on something and, mm. you know, you're trying to figure out stuff on your own. You're trying to like make it happen on your own. And, and, and sometimes it's just such a healthy reminder to, to go, actually, we have this hope and our hope is in heaven. And, and, and to Joel's point, the joy that we have, that we're going to have on the other side. And I think sometimes, you know, it's not about dismissing what we're going through now. And obviously it's crazy and, and people are going through crazy stuff. But to also remind ourselves that we have this hope, we have this mm this thing that we can cling to as Christians and as believers that God is going to, you know, swing low and he's going to, you know, take us home. At some point we have this beautiful hope in that in that thought. And I think when things are unknown, we can sing about our faith and we can sing about, you know, something that we truly believe is is going to mm. come to reality and, and anchor to that, you know, anchor to that concept that, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't have answers, um, but I know the one who does, and I'm so grateful that he's gonna, you know. Yeah. It's like we need pilgrim songs, you know. Like it's like we yeah. need road trip songs. You know, you, you know, you go on a road trip. <laughs> yeah. I think we're on a road trip. We've got 14 this. hours. Yeah. Of, yeah, we were we've got 14 hours in front of us. Like let's just sing, you know. Like yeah. that's the church right now. Like we yeah. just need yeah. songs for the road trip. Wow, you know? that's brilliant. So I think yeah. you know this one's a good one. It's like, you know, we're singing about what happens when we get to to the beach. <laughs> yes. Well said. Well, I know it's going to be an amazing encouragement to churches. Thank you guys so much for sitting down and talking to us about it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Sweet, sweet.